My name is Vic Fonov, and I was fortunate to be coached by an outstanding individual who was not only a soccer coach to me, but a wonderful teacher, an extraordinary mentor, and a great friend. Uh, coach Livingston, you have made a huge impact on my life, and I want to say thank you so much for that. Since the day you have first inspired me to try out for a soccer team, I have not stopped playing soccer since then. Uh, playing soccer under your leadership was just a life-changing experience for me. Uh, your extraordinary leadership inspired me to make a difference uh, in so many other people's lives, not just on the soccer pitch. Um, and who knows how many thousands of students you have impacted. You sure have impacted my life drastically. Um, and things that I have learned uh, from you guide me until this day in so many ways you can't even imagine. Even though it's not a very happy moment for all of us, uh, I'm happy for you and your family and in the next stage of your life. Um, I hope that your family continues to grow so that you can make more little Livingstons that can carry your legacy and the passion that you carry everywhere you go. And your name Livingston as a living stone always resounded to me that, that you definitely are a true living stone everywhere you went. And you have been such an inspiration and such a passionate person for all of us. And we thank you so much for everything that you have done, Coach. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. You rock. Hey, Coach Livingston, just wanted to say thanks for all the hard work you've put in and all the sacrifices you've made to impact so many young men's lives, myself included. So please enjoy your new free time, and best of luck to you in the future. Hey, Livingston. Uh, I just want to start by congratulating you on coaching 16 years at Wasilla. Uh, it's been an honor to play for you. Uh, and I wanted to say I'm super grateful you decided to stick it out for my senior year. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, over the last four years playing for you, uh, a couple of memories that stick out of my mind. Uh, one is definitely um, my freshman year when we decided to do team building by pulling Dylan's truck around the parking lot. Uh, and I'm not sure how much it did for our team, uh, but it's definitely something I remember. I remember uh, Chance sitting in the driver's seat when it was in neutral and he kept tapping the brakes. I thought I was gonna get ran over. I was a little runt of the team, a little freshman in the back pulling the truck. I was scared, scared for my life. Um, I remember my junior year when we were down on the peninsula for a trip we were all playing FIFA like we always do you know we always look forward to playing FIFA with coach down on those trips and I remember you were playing somebody I don't remember who it was but but I remember you scored and everybody went crazy obviously because coach was winning or coach scored but I remember one of the ladies that worked at the hotel came and knocked on the door and you entered the door all politely and she was like can we please keep it down and you're like oh okay okay uh, we all thought that was super funny um, and then I'll never forget winning Regents my freshman and and junior year, I remember freshman year beating Homer, and I remember Chance's uh, beautiful goal against Colony to put us in that game. And I remember last year, obviously beating Colony. Um, I'll never forget that winning regions my junior year. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to thank you, thank you for coaching, and for all that you've done for me on and off the field. Chadwick, I just want to start by saying you're a hell of a coach. It's a shame you had to be an assistant because you would make a damn good coach anywhere else. Uh, one memory with you that definitely sticks out is um, my junior year in state. Uh, we lost the first game, and then we were playing service and consolation. And I remember it went to overtime. It was either one one or two two. Uh, but I remember in like the second half of overtime, I was in the box and I had uh, I had a shot that hit the post, just nicked the post and went out. And I remember I got pulled off or the or the half ended. And I came off and you were like, all you had to do is just tap it in, just tap it in. Don't worry about it. You're still in good shape. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Hey, just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. And I was so pissed at the time, but I, I love your sense of humor. Um, yeah, and, and just that you're just a great coach, and I like the technique you taught me. I mean, you definitely improved me as a player. Um, and you like to keep it light. So I just want to thank Livingston and Chadwick both. Um, I couldn't have had better coaches at Wasilla High. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Livingston, it's the Campbell Twins. Hey, we want to wish you congratulations on your recent achievements. And we want to say best of luck on your new adventures in life. And thank you for everything you've given us. And we learned a lot. Thank you very much. Have Cheers. What's up, coach? Hey, just wanted to congratulate you on a on an awesome career. You you meant a lot to to everybody that I think ever played for you. 
um, Polly asked me to share my my favorite memory for, with you, and and I think it was it was my freshman year. It's almost ten years now, but you you walked a group of us out to the middle of the woods with like three axes. So let me get this straight: you gave them axes, and I was I was about as big around as a pole. And you handed me an axe, and I was I was looking around, and there's dudes with facial hair and chest hair and hair everywhere, and you you told me to start cutting down this tree, and and I I barely got the axe to stick in the tree, well everybody else is taking giant chunks out of it, but uh, but yeah you you told us not to come back until we had that tree cut down, and we brought it back to our field, and and that's the kind of stuff that I remember about you. I don't think you ever talked to me about what part of my foot to hit the ball with or, you know, how to get a defender out on their heels, but but you always made sure work ethic was a part of, of every practice and every game. And I think that, that really showed in the kind of players that you developed us to be and the kind of the kind of men you developed us to be. So I just I just uh wanted to say I appreciate that and I appreciate you. And uh, good luck going forward, Coach. Thanks. Yeah, over the years, I've been uh, underneath uh, the wing of Chattels and Livingston. Chattel keep taught me a few things, like in the game of football, to be the best. Just got to think you're the best. And the ref's not looking, just take out their best player. Livingston, just want to say that I look up to you, and you're a great man. I respect you. You've helped me out a lot in my life, over overcome adversity, and uh, Winning that region title, baby, against Colony. You know, and I just want to wish you luck against the years. Have fun at Career Tech, and uh, best of wishes. I've learned a lot over these past two years and a lot of life lessons from both Livingston and Chadwick. But one thing I'll never forget is last year, right before the region championship game, Livingston and Chadwick's speech about how you shouldn't make excuses. And he was just talking about how we, our team doesn't make excuses. We just play our game. And at the end of the day, if, if we don't do it or we didn't necessarily win the game, it doesn't matter because as long as we played our hardest and can look ourselves in the mirror, and as long as we can look ourselves in the mirror and see that we did our best and tried our best. And that's one thing I'll never forget. Congratulations on retirement. Thank you so much for all the work you put in at Wasilla High. It was a real pleasure to play soccer with you for four years. And I'll never forget winning the regions in 2007. Oh, yeah, did we ever get invited back to the Kiss Your Kenai after I graduated? Hey, Coach. Word on the street is you're uh, stepping down from lead coaching position there for soccer at Wasilla High. Man, boy, you are leaving some big shoes to fill. It's going to be interesting trying to find somebody that can step in and take over. I wish them luck. Just calling in to say thank you. Thank you for giving all of your, uh, your wisdom over to us students, us athletes, and really setting the pace for the rest of our lives right there on that field. A lot of fond memories, ripping up the turf all over the state. The lasting impression, Coach, that, uh, that you left on me when I left with Silla High was that anything less than my best was an insult to myself. If I, if I had more to give in any moment, it was a waste not to give it. And I've really tuned that to, to how I set the pace for the rest of my life. Thank you, Coach. Thank you for years of dedication to me and understanding when I failed and su support when I succeeded. I wish you the best in the rest of your life and the next endeavors that come along. And I, again, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be a student and an athlete at Wasilla High with under your program. God bless you, sir.
Coach Chadwick, you're a great coach. We had a lot of fun times. I learned a lot from you, and you will be missed. Hey, Coach. Just wanted to say thanks on behalf of all the players from 2002 to 2005. And I think it goes without saying that you made an impact on every person that came through your program. But I can honestly say that you're one of the most influential people in my life. And I believe many other players would say the same. Uh, I don't know what La Silva soccer is going to be like without Blake Livingston, but I have no doubt that you will leave the team and the school in great hands as you go. And everybody has a great future to look forward to. Thanks for everything and good luck. Hey, Coach. Uh, one memory I have is uh, sophomore year when I saw my ACL. And I was in your class, and uh, you were talking to me about my knee or whatever. And um, you were talking, and you said, it's supposed to be hurt your knee, you know, you have some varsity potential. And I thought, oh, fuck. really? And then so that's when I really started getting serious about soccer. And then the next season, you didn't. Um, you have you faith in me, and you started me right away, and uh, I started ever since the last two years, and I uh, just want to thank you for that, and thank you for those last two seasons, and uh, everything you've done for us Hey Blake, it's Jimmy Sliwa here, I'm just driving from Montana to Washington right now, um, and on this drive I had some time to think back on some of the awesome memories I had playing soccer, and uh, having you as my coach, and I, the one thing that, one memory that sticks out the most in my mind is probably the time that we, as a team, ran into the woods with axes. We no, seriously. You gave him axes? We <laughs> had hauled it out, and that became our mascot, the bone, and we would run around in condition, uh, carrying this tree around, and I don't know how effective that made us as soccer players, but I think it brought the team closer together, and definitely have some good memories so um, just as you go into this next stage in life I just want to say that I am thankful for uh, you as my coach and uh, thanks for all the memories. Coach I remember uh, sophomore year we were down in Homer for Regions and we had just beaten Colony in the semifinals going, going to play Homer at home doing the thing they're undefeated and I remember the, I'll never forget the speech that you had just talking about how they didn't have any adversity uh, they had perfect you know, smooth sailing all the way through and that we were going to come in and be the perfect storm and take him out and sure, sure enough we went in and beat him 2-1 and it's just unbelievable it's just one of many memories that I'll never forget thank you hey Blake this is Paul here I just wanted to congratulate you and wish you the best of luck on your new endeavors uh, thinking back to the Wasilla High School days and you being my coach um, one of my fondest memories would be when we set aside a practice to karate chop pieces of wood and we even let Kyle Welton headbutt a brick. Coach Livingston, I need to see you in my office. Um, I don't know how safe that was, but he managed to be all right, so that was sweet. And I also remember you being my football coach, and uh, I remember specifically one practice, Tills and I, kicked for probably four or five hours straight and our legs got so big that we had to go to Doc Larson and get electric shock therapy and my leg is still bigger even to this day so I have you to thank for that um, but I also remember uh, my sophomore year playing Colony in the first round of state and I just remember us playing extremely well and we had lost to Colony previously in the regional final but then we play them in the first round of state and ended up beating them and getting third in state and I think that was the best I ever did while I was our team ever did while I was there and so I just wanna uh, thank you for everything that you've done for the program and for myself and I just wanna wish you the best of luck in the future for you. Livingston, not only were you a great coach that taught us how to succeed on the soccer field but you were a great man that taught us how to succeed in life. Losing you, uh, the program isn't going to be the same, but uh, best of luck in the future and hope to get to play with you out on the soccer field at some point. So, go Big Red. Hey coach, uh, it's Angelo. Robbie. Co-captains from 04. Um, 
I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me in my life. Um, and congratulations on making such a milestone. Uh, you've been a great part of the community and an awesome coach all these years. Tell us something personal about him. He says the word um a lot. <laughs> Best stories of Livingston. You once gave us a speech about being a dog in a box. Yeah. Super awesome. And also, he'll talk about Sherpas for hours. He loves Sherpas. Loves them. How has that helped you in your life? Oh, it's not going to be I can carry so many bags up a, up a mountain, but as long as the Sherpas can do it, too. Or down a mountain. Or down. Yeah. yeah that's, matter. that's important. You told us that like whether you're going up or down, the mountain, is all, as long as you're a Sherpa. And What's like, the last thing you want to say to your coach? We're going to say all the things. Yeah, all this the is time. Time. You're ruining this whole thing. We have to start over.